Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an effects list on the track control panel in Reaper. Now, I have a project in front of me here where I already have effects on the tracks. And if we open the mixer, we can see there's a gate, a compressor, and an EQ on each of them. And one of the benefits of the mixer is we can see all the effects that are on the tracks. I can open the gate by clicking on it, but I don't have to to see what's on the track. Whereas the track control panel, you kind of have to. We can see there's effects on here, but we can't see which effects. We could right click and see them here, or open it up and see them here. But we can't see them if none of those dialogues are open. But with this trick, we can. Let me show you. Let's open the effects back up and let's start with my gate. I'm going to choose any parameter. Let's use the threshold for the gate and just click on it and go to the menu and choose Showing Track Controls. And that puts that control in the track control panel, as we can see right here. Let's do the same thing for each plugin. For a compressor, we'll do the threshold as well. Showing track controls, and it shows up over here, where we can control the threshold right from here or from over here. Let's do the same thing with the EQ. Again, I'm going to choose any parameter. It doesn't really matter which one. I'll choose gain. Showing track controls. And it shows up over here. Now, if we close this, we can see the controls even without the dialogues being open. We can't really see which plugin they're controlling. So let's use the alias feature. Let's right click this one and choose alias that plugin. And let's rename it the name of the plugin. In this case, Reagate. We'll do the same thing for the compressor. Rea comp, and the same thing for the EQ. Rea EQ. Now we can see a little more clearly what controls we're working with. But more importantly, we can see what plugins are on this track. In fact, instead of opening them up from here, besides controlling these parameters, we can double click them to open them up. Our gate opens up right here. Our compressor opens up as well. And the same thing for the EQ. So just like that, we can see what plugins are on this track from the track control panel. Now you're probably wondering, it's a lot of work to set this up each time, but not if we save it as an effects chain. Let's open this back up again, and then right click over here, and choose Effects Chains, Save All Effects as Chain. Now in this example, we're going to want to set up our effects, how we want to start off on each track. So I'm going to name this Gate slash Compressor slash EQ. Then we can save it. And now on each track, we want this behavior. Let's clear the plugins on this track and this one. We can just open them up from the Effects Chain right here, gate, compressor, EQ. Then it shows up the exact same way on this track, along with the track controls and the alias names. And we could do that for each track we want to use. But a quicker way is to assign an action to this effects chain. So let's clear this and instead hit add, go to the effects chain we just saved and right click it. Then we can choose Create Shortcut. It doesn't matter what keyboard shortcut we choose, but now using that keyboard shortcut, we can assign those plugins to any track we select. So let's clear this for now and select all our tracks. And if you want those effects on all these tracks, along with that feature on the track control panel, 
Just hit the keyboard shortcut. And it shows up on every track just like this. So we can open up our gate on this track by double clicking it. And it opens up right there. Or the gate on this track the same way. So it's a lot quicker to see what's on each track in the track control panel. And besides saving the show and track controls, it also saved the alias names in the effects chain. So it's all saved in the one file. Just select all the tracks, hit the keyboard shortcut, and they all show up on each track, giving us a similar behavior as the mixer. But we could see each effect on each track. But now we could see it in the track control panel. Double click it to open it, double click it again to close it, and do the same for any plugin in the track control panel. So that's pretty much it. That's how to create an effects list on the track control panel in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!